Yeah, so we ran out of food and it was mortifying. One of the guys that's a part of our church that we brought in to help us serve, I'm like, dude, you go tell people. We like, made what? him, he <laughs> was totally our You made out. him. Before I die, I would love to cook for Gordon Ramsay. And so I try out for MasterChef and long story short, like I make it on the show. Oh, Jesus loves awesome. me right now. <laughs> Did you just awesome. say Jesus loves me right now? Yes. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, as always, well, you know what? Listen, have you watched other shows and you listen to podcasts where they're talking about like how brilliant I am and uh, here's all of the 10 things I did to be successful with my marketing campaign and make tons of money and look, I started a wine business. Like, that's not this show. I mean, there's tenacity and people recover and they do great things, but we're really focused on like people screwing up because we all screw up and we all screw up whenever we're making anything that's important to us as well. It's not smooth sailing. That's what we're gonna talk about today. And today, we've got uh, Lada Gilbert and Sean, or Sean Lada Gilbert. A lot, a lot of Gilbert, Sean. They're both gonna be, all three of them are gonna be on the show, um, and the name of their business is Fat Pastor. And I'm gonna assume that we're talking about food, or we're talking about God, or we're talking about both. Uh, but I'm really excited. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm here uh, with Sean, Lada, and Gilbert from uh, Fat Pastor Productions. Yep. Yep, and you are the Fat Pastor. The Fat Pastor, I yes. really yeah. have a hard time saying that. Everyone um, does. Straight at, the only like, one. looking you in the eye, because I don't <laughs> think that you're yep. a big fella. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what makes it really fun, you know, when people introduce us and they're like, I just don't know how to do this. Before we even get into, like, sort of backstory and everything else, like, first, just the name. Yeah. Like, where does, where, does, where does the name come from? Well, I, you know, I, I am a pastor, and these guys yeah. are pastors. We all are pastors at a church together. You're all and pastors. So we're all That's pastors, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm drinking with pastors. <laughs> you know, I was, I was doing some food blogging a few years ago before we ever started the business. Yeah. And I wanted to be able to, you know, throw something out that would be fun. And so yeah. I thought, you know, the fat is where the flavor is. When you're cooking food, the fat's where the flavor that's is. That's true. So that's where it comes from. Is yeah. We're pastors, and the fat's where the flavor is, so we're the yeah. fat pastor productions. For us, it was just a, like a passion, it was a hobby for all of us, yeah. you know, food is something we loved. Oh, were you all doing food? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah just for fun, you know? Yeah. He grew up, you know, cooking with his dad. I grew up cooking with my dad. Yeah. She grew up loving food and just the, everything that makes yeah. food exciting. And I love that you grew up cooking with your dad too. I mean, I, like I get it makes sense. I don't want to make stereotypes, but so many people just grow up cooking with their mom. Yeah. Right, cooking right. With their grandma yeah. in the kitchen. Right. Well, that's a big that, part of the story there's too, There's a right? backstory yeah. to that because yeah. you're talking about cooking with your dad in a culture that it's not a man's, the kitchen is not a man's place. Oh, wow. Yeah. So already I'm going in the kitchen, with, with a place where it is stereotyped when it comes to men in the kitchen. Saturday he says we are going to the market to do what? I want to teach you how to pick good vegetables. I said, that's what mom's supposed to do. Yeah. Like cooking is, all, is not already enough. Now oh, you want to take wow. me to the market? <laughs> <laughs> God! It's and we are sitting there, public. women are whispering. Right. <laughs> no, like yeah. And he looks at me. They're raising that boy exactly. wrong. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. And he looks at me, he's like, you know, everybody else thinks you are stupid now. Yeah. Trust me, you're going to be the smart one tomorrow. That's true. And boy, was he right. Look at yeah. you now. Look at me now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. here we are. He's like, he's, he's, he's literally smiling. That's, so, a, that's amazing. It was not easy. I, yeah. I went in screaming and kicking. He's like, no, you're going to learn this skill, son. Oh. And um, I did not like him for it. Well, where did, where did you grow up? Africa, Zambia, South Central. Zambia. Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys all. Like, and then you learned from your dad as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, my dad wasn't like an amazing chef or anything. It's yeah. just that that's where we connected. Yeah. My, my parents were older when I was born, and yeah. so my dad was 51 when I was born. Oh, wow. And yeah. so, you know, we didn't play a lot of games outside. We didn't do any of that stuff. We'd go, you know, fishing every once in a while. But if he was in the kitchen, man, I was racing in there to be with him. And so, like, Thanksgiving is my biggest memory. I'd get up as early as I could, 4.30 in the morning. I'm running in. He's stuffing the turkey, and I'm jumping up right next to him so I can help him out. Really? And so that was that was really where just the love of, of cooking started. Yeah. For me, I think it starts really first with experience and then builds on flavor from there. And yeah. So that's what I always look back on. And my dad's gone now, so, you know, a lot of that passion and yeah. those desires, you know, for cooking started with him. So tell me then, like, did you all meet from food blogging, or did you all live in the same place like how did you meet 
Yeah, so we, you know, because I started a church with my wife about four and a half years ago, Yeah. Um, these guys started coming to the church at some point with their families. Oh. And so about three and a half months into it, I, I meet Gilbert and, uh, you know, we fall in love with each other. And then before long, he's on staff. About a year into it, um, Lada and her family uh, start coming to the church, fall in love with them and their family. Yeah. And so her husband, Glenn, is our worship pastor. And uh, so we just started working together in church. Yeah. Then we started cooking together. And we then thought, you started yeah. cooking together. Yeah. 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 And then started Fat pa- So tell me more yeah. about Fat Pastor. Like, uh, yeah. like what's involved? What do you so do? So Fat Pastor Productions is kind of, we do a bunch of different things in the culinary world. Um, I always thought that food was just going to be a passion, just going to be a hobby. Yeah. Um, and I had made a bucket list in 2009. I said, you know, before I die, I would love to cook for Gordon Ramsay. And so in 2016, they were doing tryouts for MasterChef in Portland. No way. And my my niece called and she said, hey, you need to come try out for this. Yeah. I'm like, uh, you know, that's really fast and I'm freaking out. And she's like, no, you, you said that you want to do this. Right. You need to come do it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. And so I try out for MasterChef and long story short, like I make it on the show. And so, you know, our story really goes to that moment where I'm standing in front of Gordon Ramsay and I'm cooking against my competitor. We're trying to see if, you know, who's going to make it on, you know, the top oh 20. Oh my God, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so I lose in the first round. But Gordon Ramsay had loved my food. He really had, you know, voted for me to stick around. And he looks at me and he goes, Sean, he goes, you know, your food is awesome. He goes, it's clear that you were born to serve your community. Yeah. But it's also clear that you were born to cook. And he goes, don't stop. Yeah. And so at that point, I'm a home chef. That's all I do. That's all I care about doing. I walk away from that and I'm like, man, maybe I have something here. Maybe there's yeah. something more to this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so yeah. came back. Um, you know, we we live in a city in Yakima that Yakima has gone through some trouble with gang violence and, and different yeah, things. Yeah. And so they started talking about, you know, this this program that helps kids and uh, takes care of kids that come in yeah. um, to do different programs. And they said, yeah, we got this big, huge commercial kitchen that we're not doing anything with. Yeah. And so I met with the guy that um, was in charge and I said, you know, I got an idea. And um, what if we started a free business and culinary school for these kids? No way. And so we started a program called Urban Kitchen Yakima. Yeah. And that's the first thing that we started doing. Yeah. And then I realized, now, was oh. It, was it the three of you that started that? <coughs> no, it was actually, that. Yeah. yeah, this was me yeah. and a couple other people that are in the community and a part of our church. Yeah. Really, really good people. Another classically trained chef. I think Jack is taking pictures of his drink oh, yeah. uh, to post on Instagram. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, no, which tells know, you that man. something amazing oh. is about to come out. It this smells is, awesome. Uh, uh, Jack, what are what are we what are we drinking? Oh my gosh! Today we are drinking, and you, you're probably <laughs> you're like this. This is the 1891 Edinburgh. Oh, oh also known right as say, the Triple Threat. Did you just also say known Jesus as Jesus loves me right yes, now. Yes, the Triple Crown. Okay. Sorry, also Jack. known as the Holy Grail. Oh. So this drink is uh, taken from inspiration of wow. three pastors. Also taken from the three inspiration pastors. of. Innovation in 1891 mm. was the creation of the very first triple barrel. Somebody taking pictures 12 of this gauge. Thing. So not a double barrel. Wow. But a triple barrel 12 gauge. <laughs> and they first named it the Holy Grail. Lotta is so happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's <laughs> like tearing up. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite way to toast? Salud. Uh, salud. <laughs> salud. Okay, we'll yeah, do that. All right. I'm yeah. tapping up. Yeah, salud. Tap. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. These right. are the coolest right. little chalices. There we go. Yeah, I want to make the yeah. Wow. Wow. You, you have That's you incredible. have chosen wisely. Indeed, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all met and then you became like you became pastors but you started yeah. the church yeah right yeah. did you know you wanted to do that like yeah i knew from on? a very like, young age i wanted to be a pastor but were your were your were your parents religious as well yeah i was raised in a christian family and yeah. so you know they they were amazing my parents really are probably the reason that i didn't run away from church because i had some bad yeah. experiences like a lot of people yeah i think um, most people yeah. and that's that's hard i mean it's no fun and i think that's probably why we do church the way we do yeah. it is because we've all had bad experiences in church yeah but there's something inside of us that really keeps us grounded in what we believe is true about yeah, God yeah. and you know who He is. So you guys, you guys met through there, but then um, with with Fat Pastor, do you? It's not a restaurant, right? No. That you yeah. do. Yeah. Um, so you, you you do different services yeah. related to food in the community. Is that mostly? So well, it was Urban Kitchen, and then so Fat Pastor Productions kind of got started, mm-hmm. and then. Um, now, does well, Urban Kitchen still exist? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, it's, and then yeah. Fat Pastor Productions got so started. we all cook together, like we, we get mm-hmm. together, cook, and we all have ex- similar experiences cooking. 
Um, and we and needed to raise money for the Urban Kitchen program too. Yeah, yeah. So and you would do that from from cooking. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's part of how it got started. Right. So he comes to us and he says, "I have this cool idea. Um, I what do you think if we start an underground dining club in Yakima? Because oh, Yakima is not rad. yet yeah. the food." sensation I like that, the yet yes. yeah that's good so it's begun it's begun <clears throat> so we thought that this would be a really cool thing to do on our terms you know we get to make the menu we don't need a space so we find really cool locations we've done it in barns and old buildings and yeah. people's homes yeah. like just outdoors we did on the Genius. golf course at the fifth hole at a golf course <laughs> we had to cart our whole kitchen grill like five grills a smoker like tables chair everything in on a golf cart and here's the clincher i mean most underground dining clubs are illegal because it's a way for chefs to be able to showcase their talents without having to worry about all the taxes and the places to, right. you know, get a location and, you know, yeah. evading the health department. Yeah. We're like, well, crap, we're pastors. Like, right. we can't do an illegal <laughs> dining club. Legit. You know? <laughs> so how do we do this, you know? Yeah. Well, I think... <laughs> you got to be above board. We had to go to the health department and be like, how do we do this? Yeah. yeah. And they looked at me, like, straight up, and they're like, we don't know. Like, we're, we have no idea <laughs> how to classify no this. Mm -hmm. And so we met with this one guy who knew about our mm -hmm. Urban Kitchen program. He's like, dude, you guys are doing amazing things with these kids. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. And so he really became our champion and he fought right. with us and for us to be able to get this legal. So we're actually one of the only legal underground dining clubs in the country. <laughs> By the yeah. way, pretty sweet. It's legit. <laughs> Sounds great to say legal underground. Right. Right. Yeah, I know. Right. We don't we don't put that in the yeah. job. What did you run into that uh like things that you wish you, you wish you would have known that you didn't know, yeah. or like f ups or things where you're like, oh no 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 no, this isn't gonna work anymore, or I think we're gonna have to close close shop. Like we we did we quit we quit six months into it. You quit? Yeah, we yes. quit. We we didn't know the business, and so yeah. we none of us have culinary training. We don't have any culinary mentors. No, like we have no experience whatsoever. No. We're just a bunch of risk takers. Yep, they're like, yeah, let's wow, try animals. it, see what happens. Um, thinking it was gonna be just a hobby and mm -hmm. you know something we could just do, make a little extra money, whatever. And so six months into it, we're sitting down on a Wednesday night as part of our regular church staff meeting. And we're like, man, the church needs more attention. We've been doing so much with the food stuff and it's not even going that well. Yeah. And people aren't signing up for bike club like we thought they would, not knowing it was just the time of year, right. um, not knowing where we were going. And we sat there and we looked at each other and we're like, this is too much. Let's let's stop. Let's just quit. And we literally on that yep. night, we said, we're done. We're done. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just and on that night? We're just done. Yeah. yeah we're it like, was, we're done. It was and we're going to give people their money back. February like, 2000, what? February and So that was that was for both the, like, the like, bike club and Fat Pastor? Yeah. We were just yeah, going we to keep like, Urban Kitchen going because yeah. that was important. Yeah. But we're done with all the bike club yep. stuff. We're going to quit doing the catering. We had done a little bit of catering at the time. Not a lot. Yeah. Not like we're doing now. Yeah. Um, and so we quit. Yeah. And the very next morning... A lady in our church, an older lady in the church, and if anybody knows anything about old church ladies, like they're dynamite. Right. She emails me and she goes, Sean, I just wanted you to know I was praying for you this morning. And she said, I've never prayed for you like this before. She said, I found myself in tears and I was on my knees. And she said, and, and she, she was straight up. She goes, I saw Jesus in front of me and Jesus looks at me and he goes, tell Sean, don't quit. Tell Sean, don't quit. Wow. And we hadn't said anything to anybody yep. about our conversation yep. the night before. Wow. And I wrote her back. I was like, <laughs> I was delusional at that point because yeah. I'm like, oh, man, we like just upped our commitment to the church. Like, yeah, 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 we yeah, were yeah, stopping yeah, all yeah, this yeah. other stuff. And, you know, I'm not even thinking about it. Yeah. And, I'm, and she, she writes back and she goes, all I know is if I didn't hear from God, I've never heard from God. Really? Yeah, yeah. Dead serious. And so I went to the team that Friday. So it was Wednesday that we quit. Friday we get together. And I'm like, here's the conversation I just had. What do you guys think? And they're like, um... Do you remember the conversation we just had on Wednesday night? You yeah. Know? I'm like, oh crap! Like maybe that's maybe that's it. <laughs> He's funny. And so we re-upped our commitment. We're like, we decided to we tell people we decided to stop quitting, and we jump back in. <laughs> quit being and, quitters. Uh, we quit yeah, being quitters. Yeah, we quit being quitters. quitters. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back from the moment the three of us sat down to start bike club, we all we all looked at each other like, what are we gonna lose? Let's give it a shot mm. when right. it was being born. And I remember our spouses looking at us like, oh, here we go again, something new. <laughs> right. For me, you know, from the time I met my wife, actually I have a message that I, I, I've, I've, I've taught entitled, how much is your dream worth? 
for example, the richest man you know walks in this in this room, whipped out a, a page, it is a checkbook and say, I want to buy your dream. How yeah. much is it worth? Ah. You know, so in other words, the value that you put on who you are and what you are bringing to your community matters. I just want to make, make somebody's life better. I love that. Tell me, tell me more about, so in, it, when you're working with food, and you guys are doing now catering gigs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, putting that, yeah. that stuff together. Yeah. Um, have you had experiences where, like, I mean, you've had to learn that on the fly. Yeah. I mean, you've all said, like, you're kind of figuring that out as you go and you're putting those things together. Have you ever had the experiences where, like, not enough food, the wrong food, oh. or didn't go? <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, what, what was it? What, what did... West Valley Schools. West Valley Schools. Without question. Yeah. I love when that we ran out of food both of them, like, oh, yeah. like, bring it up at the same oh, time. Yeah. It was a nightmare. Oh, it West was... Valley Schools. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, okay. It was the one where we ran out of food. So, you don't remember it? yes. No, now I do. She, I think she blocked it out. She I blocked did. it out because I, she was so she mad. Was oh yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, uh, what yeah. happened? What happened? We what ran happened? out of food. Just like, ran legit. out completely. Well, so like for school children, ran out of no, food. No, it was yeah. for grownups. Yeah. You know, we're used to doing plated dinners. We're used. To, so we buy enough um, mains for. Uh, like, okay, this half of the people are gonna eat this main, yeah. half the people are gonna eat this main. Okay. But we served it buffet style and people took both. Mm -hmm. And so we were- We didn't take that into consideration. We didn't. Yeah. It, was we, it, was, it was our like yeah. first catering gig yeah. we ever did. Yeah, it was the first big and one. Some, yeah. It was like 250 yeah. people. I mean, it was, yeah. yeah. Huge and event. so we're used to serving 30 people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. So and some people's it, eyes are bigger than their stomachs. So. Yeah. yeah. So we ran out of food and it was mortifying. Yep. It's horrible. We actually, it was really uh, bad because we had one of the, one of the guys that's a part of our church that we brought in to help us serve. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. he's like, he's a younger guy and he's like really good with people. And I'm like, dude, you go tell people. We like, made what? him. He was totally our You made him, we we made him do it? Thank you, Jeremy. Wait, are you guys, are, his name's Jeremy? Yes. His name's Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy, yeah. you're an amazing human yeah. being. Yes. I know, yeah. right? He is. You should demand so, that's that's right. favors for forever. Tonight. So he, here's what happened. I went and stood by him as he was communicating. Oh, good job, Gilbert. The dilemma I that just happened. Like Lana and I were hiding. No, I did. Yeah. Yeah. But we walked away knowing that we owe them big time. Next time we get to do an event for them, we're going to make it up. We did. And we yeah. gave yeah. him a killer. Did you guys, wait, they did came you back get, to us. They yeah. came back to us. You did yeah. the event again. And we yeah. slayed it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. After you ran out of food, yep. you did the event the, again. The next they came year. Back to us the next so year. here's, here's yeah. one you of understand? the other story too. It was the fact that so, a lot of people came up. They're like, "Finally, we get to eat real food. We've yeah. had this event for a while, and we have not eaten real food." Yeah. So they get to eat real good food that yeah, time, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So. That, that is that amazing. alone was a plus, despite I running our. our <laughs> I can't believe they came back to you. That's yeah. wonderful. Oh, oh yeah, God. they we've been voted Yakima's favorite caterer. Um, this yeah. last year, we've been voted Yakima's favorite chef two years in a row. No um, way. And it's crazy because we've only been doing this professionally for two years. For two years. Yeah. But we've we worked our butts August, off. Yeah. We're committed to quality. We we're do. committed to serving people really well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we may mess up, but we're going to own it. We're going to yeah. be responsible yeah. for it, and yeah. we're going to come back and fix it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, and the, a lot of the members of Bike Club have become our friends. Yeah. And we've gotten to know them personally and just really fall in love. Like, yeah. we support their businesses and they support ours, essentially. You know, it's, and so, um, yeah, it's just, we've really garnered relationships with people. At Christmas time, we come out and we'll sing to people. <laughs> and we'll like, you know, it's, it's fun and we yeah. interact with them. Our spouses all serve. Um, you know, they're kind of the front of house. Yeah. And it's just a really neat and special experience. Yep. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. There, I think there's a lot of people that are, um, they're in love with serving their community. Mm -hmm. Like they want to do something like that, whether that's through church or through something else. Yeah, sure. And and they're in love with food. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in a, not just like, I like to eat I'm food. What hurt. recommendation would you make to somebody that's looking to do that in order to get something started, in order yeah. to make something happen? What would, you, what would you say? I mean, you gotta look at your community and you gotta see what's going on in your community. You know, where can you go and make a difference? And yeah. where can you add your talents, your gifts, your skill set? Um, into changing and transforming your own community. Yeah, yeah. Um, and people will get behind that. Right. Like if you have something oh, yeah. to offer, 
people will come alongside you. We found that people weren't exactly sure how to get started. So because we got started, yeah. they said, okay, we'll support that. We'll get yeah. behind that. And yeah, now yeah, we yeah. want to do something. Right. Totally. Um, I and think it's remarkable. We also have a tendency of uh, looking at uh, the gifting that we have. It's just not for us alone. Yeah. It's to be able to impact the community we live in, the culture that we live in, the nations that we are in. Mm -hmm. We are in. I have a gift that will not only benefit my family, but can benefit a whole lot of people out there. And, and trust me, we have our, some of our members will be like, okay, we love your food. We, this is amazing. But you guys, just you guys, something about you guys, just the way you, what is it? They ask that question because they see more than just the way we interact. Yeah. yeah. The way we love one another. There's something there beyond just you guys cooking in the kitchen and giving us great food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes it feels like church. Like that yeah. feels, a bike club feels more like church. Than church. Uh, than church. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we hosted for the first time last year what we call Northwest Burger Jam. So we wanted to do a burger festival a burger festival yeah Dude. and so we're like this will be fun you know wait yakima. jack did you hear that there's a burger festival in, in yakima, yakima. <laughs> all right just so that we're clear it gets better too like, i just yeah. moved here we got a trip to make and you Thanks. and i you're my only friend we both know this all right good good okay yep. burger festival yakima yeah so we like we had no idea what it was going to look like we we hosted it at a yeah. brewery of Cowichi creek brewing is an amazing place and yeah. so we thought let's do it there and so we uh, we we host this burger festival. We're not even sure who's going to show up. Like almost a thousand people show up. Yeah. And I'm looking out at one point after the whole day is almost over. There's been concerts. There's been competition. People are just having fun. Looking out at like almost a thousand people who are just having fun and laughing and smiling together. Yeah. I got less than a hundred people in my church, and I'm standing on the stage and I'm like, this feels like church. Yeah. Everybody's having a good time. There's people out here that are of totally different perspectives. They're all coming together and celebrating this family time around food. Yeah. You know, yeah. that felt more church to me than a lot of times, you know, what I felt on Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. what I want to experience. That's mm -hmm. what I bring to the table for yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's the opportunity to let's come to the table. Yeah. Let's just yeah. come to the table. Yeah. Well, you guys, thanks. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thank like, you. I, like if you guys want to keep hanging out, we can keep hanging out because it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> all it. right, what are we saying? Like, uh, I want to say like uh, Opa. Nazdrovia. No. <laughs> Opa. Yeah, like Opa. whatever. Like I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> what? <the> <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, you guys. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you, Lada. Thank you, Gilbert. And thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, then subscribe. Uh, ring the bell, make a comment, like what we're doing. And if you have your own up, your own story of redemption or recovering, then go to fups.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.